Welcome guys, this is Jizzy. Welcome to my channel. So I went inside the battleground, played a couple of matches and I tried to find some necromancers to see how their nerf is actually doing. But honestly, is it just me or suddenly there are a lot less necromancers showing up inside battleground? You guys can let me know, but I was not able to find many. So for me testing really didn't go so well but however i actually saw some interesting stuff on the reddit mentioning the untouched blood knight with their cooldown skills on their invulnerability like the sang unit which is really good and bad and on top of that black knight actually has a ability called transfusion if you are using that skill what it would allow you is to get out of total loss of control i think or you can relieve yourself from the harmful effect i am not sure i think it's for the harmful effect itself and gives you shield as well and the cooldown is really low but the real thing is that I saw that some players were talking about that Necromancer received a nerf really quickly, noticing that it was not necessary altogether. But battle, but the but the Black Knight win seems to be not ending at all, especially when its stash ability and some of the invulnerable skills are really strong and cooldown on them are actually really really low and i kind of agree i have noticed that some players stays in vulnerability really easy they use the strategy to just come in do some attacks and then retreat and they have the ability of transfusion to stay in sh shield as well and they st change their stance to get more shield and on top of that they also run around with cat and warden so they have a lot of tankiness in my opinion and on top of that they have the invulnerable skills that allow them to you know run away or just deal damage by staying invulnerable and that is true and it's kind of a really old story now but blizzard did change some of the blood knight skills cooldown for the battleground itself but it still feels like that i have noticed that most of the players are still not happy about it i myself try to just avoid blood knight when i see it i rather just drop some traps on the blood knight try to deal damage if i am not successful i am just going to run away because blood knight is so damn tanky that Trying to fight against it if it is not dying is just a call that you are actually going to die here. Also I noticed a new build style for the Crusader. I am not sure if these are just some random builds but this player here was actually using this circle thing with the shield that would actually allow you to escape from it or either enter inside that circle. But anyways, do let me know what do you guys think about the Blood Knight. Does Blood Knight need cooldown nerves on his skill or his tankiness or is it just fine? To me, I just run away from the Blood Knight if it's just too strong because I know I, me as a demon hunter cannot take down the Blood Knight if it is not dying. And also on top of that, demon hunter received a nerf on best discretion helmet as well so do let me know if demon hunter is still really uh, strong with his dash skills or not and what do you guys over the world think about it and i'll see you guys in my next one this was a really short match and i just wanted to bring this stuff to you guys because it is an interesting conversation and i wanted to know so maybe i can send some feedback to developer regarding the blood knight that it should be next in queue or not but i need some 
feedback from you guys so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys